Hello everyone, welcome to the very first lecture of Computer Organization and Architecture. It is also popularly known as COA. So in this course, we are going to learn about Computer Organization and Architecture that is COA in a very detailed manner and in this particular lecture, we will learn about the basics of the same. Alright then, let's get to learning. Now we all know about the great Tony Stark. In the MCU, when he was attacked and abducted by a group of terrorists, in order to escape from captivity, he, using his great knowledge, designed a suit of armor. Organizing all the required components, he finally built one of his greatest inventions, the Iron Man suit. So basically, determining the objective, first Mr. Stark designed the architecture, then with the help of proper organization, he became Iron Man. Similarly, when any machine is devised, it is built to achieve some goal. First, we build the structure of it and once that is decided upon, thereafter we try to organize our resources to achieve the final product. For an instance, if we are to build a circuit which can add 2 bits and produce sum as well as carry. I mean, when both the inputs are zeros, the sum and the carry will be zeros. Again, with 2 inputs and having one of the inputs as 1, there can only be 2 cases. And in both the cases, the sum is 1 and the carry is 0. Now if both the inputs are ones, the result is 2. But since we don't have the symbol 2 in binary, rather it is represented as 1, 0. So the sum is 0 and the carry is 1. Anyway, we need not worry about the details right now because interesting discussions are awaiting. So in order to devise such a machine, first we need to determine the structure, then organizing the available resources, supposedly the universal NAND gates in this specific scenario, we can build the half header circuit which is nothing but the machine we intended to build to solve our 2 bit addition problem. Which means architecture and organization are systematic approach of deriving the solution of any problem. Now let's move on to the technicalities. So computer architecture basically deals with the functional behavior of computer systems. And it is also all about the design implementation for various parts of computer. Now coming to computer organization, it deals with structural relationship. Basically, the functional units collectively work together in order to execute computer instructions. So operational attributes are linked together and contribute to realize the architectural specification. So to sum it up, the designing is the attribute of computer architecture, whereas utilization happens to be the attribute of organization. Now a generic computer is comprised of various functional units. Amongst them, the processor is the most important one. The processor itself is a collection of register section, an arithmetic and logic unit, also known as ALU, and a timing and control unit. Along with these, it also has another section called interface. We can think of the processor as the brain of the system. Next, we have the memory. It stores all the instructions reading ways the processor works accordingly. Also, we can store data inside the memory. Another functional unit is the input-output peripheral. Now, the term peripheral is just a fancy version of device. All of these are very essential when computation involving computers are concerned. So the programs or the set of instructions are stored into the memory using input devices so that the processor can execute them. During execution, the required inputs can either be fed into the system using the same input peripherals or stored into the memory beforehand. Finally, the outputs can be generated onto the output devices or else can be stored into the memory for later extraction. The intercommunication of all these functional components is carried out with the help of system bus. We will get to know about all this in a much more elaborated manner in our due course. Now coming to the outline of the course, that is the syllabus that we are going to follow is as follows. First, we will begin with the basics of computer architecture. Also, we will learn about the various classifications of it. Next, we will learn about memory interfacing and memory hierarchy. Now in this particular section, we are going to learn how the memory devices are connected to the processor, also the way the intercommunication takes place. And by the end of this, we will have a pretty detailed knowledge of all sorts of memory mapping techniques and a decent idea about the secondary memory storages. Now comes the big part, 
the computer organization starting from machine instructions addressing modes then the detailed organization of ALU the data path and finally different types of control units all of these we will learn in an eventual manner with the help of a constructive illustration next up is IO interfacing here we are going to be introduced with the ways IO peripherals can be interfaced with the processor also we will learn about various data transmission modes then we will learn about the instruction pipelining which is sort of optimization basically we will see how to increase the efficiency of a single processor and finally a bonus section number systems now many of us may argue that it is a very basic thing and very commonly known yet i insist on learning it because this specific section has specially been designed keeping coa's application in mind by the end of it we will have a detailed knowledge so it is my promise to deliver a new perspective for the learners to have therefore the entire course can be subdivided into six major sections all right now to be very honest coa is not really a basic course rather it's an advanced course so having a primitive knowledge of digital logic design would be very helpful in order to acquire a quick grasp over the subject however i promise to keep the lectures as detailed as possible also i would mention the topics from our own digital electronics course in respective lectures whenever it's necessary now coming to the audience whom keeping in mind the course has been designed all the college and university students are going to get benefited due to the detailed explanations of each and every aspect of coa next any aspirant willing to compete in any competitive exams such as get net nielit etc will be able to understand many numerical problems along with the most apt illustration of the theory involved in them finally any computer science admirer who just wants a quick detailed recall about any topic of coa or anyone who wants to get wise in this particular subject can refer to the lectures so that was all for this lecture hope to see you in the next one thank you all for watching